I thought we played really well as a team. Um, it was an entire team effort. We had some great defense and some really good offense from every pin and the middles. Um, I just really thought it was a great team win, and we battled through a lot of adversity. So overall, I'm really proud of our team. I really think we took advantage of just like big plays, like big blocks or digs, and we just capitalized on that energy and just kept grinding out those points. The little points and the details like made a really big impact at, towards end of sets. Uh, you guys dropped the first set 25-21, had a big lead in the second, uh, I believe 20 to eight uh, was the lead, and then Stonehill found a way to chip away, came back. Uh, what was going through your head in that mindset, knowing that you were already down a set uh, and were looking to even up the, the match? Yeah, so I think our whole team was really like, we were just up by, I don't know how many said 12 points. We can do this and we know we can do this. So really just towards the end of the set and then going into the third set, we really just had to battle. And that's exactly what we did because we saw that they could come back. Um, so we just really had to push through that and we did a good job. And for our East Coast Com Conference Championship, it was kind of the same. Like we were down 2-1 and we knew that we had to pull ahead and win the next two. And that was kind of the mindset that we had for that set too. Uh, you don't know the team that you're going to be playing tomorrow, uh, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, I guess, what are you guys going to do between now and then to prepare, uh, either for number one, AIC, or number five, Holy Family? I think our team is going to rest up, uh, get a lot of recovery in, and probably watch the other game and get a good scouting report so we're ready for tomorrow. Yeah, and Steph's really good at that. She's really good at finding the little things so we could capitalize on those things. Those things. <laughs> those things. <laughs> Yeah, I think we had a lead early in the first set, and then we kind of took pressure off and weren't as aggressive on the service line. So really sets two through four was about being aggressive on the service line because uh, we know that they struggle out a system. They can't get number 13 the ball. And so I thought we did a really good job of serving aggressive, especially at the end of that fourth set when there was a little bit of pressure on us. Uh, but I knew that once we hit 20, like it was our match, and the team felt that too, and I think they did a really great job. I uh, brought it up with your players. You guys were up 20 to 8. Uh, in that second set, uh, I could see the wheels go in your head as Stonehill fought back, got closer and closer uh, before you guys ended up taking the set 25-22. Uh, what was going through your mind and um, how were you hoping to get your team back in line? Yeah, I just told them that whether Stonehill comes back and wins this, we need to fight for every point. We need to play as hard as we can play and like no looking behind, just going forward. Um, so I kind of got on them a little bit in that moment because, <laughs> you know, it was one of those things where they're like, oh, what's happening? We just had a big lead and you could like feel that on the court, right? So I'm like, we're not doing this. Like we're playing hard, we're looking forward and we're pushing through it. Um, so you guys end up coming back, taking care of business 25, or sorry, 25, 20 in the second and the third, and sorry, the third and fourth set. Um, so obviously you guys have played a couple sets tonight. Uh, you're preparing for an East Region uh, showdown uh, tomorrow night with the opponent to be decided here in a little bit. Uh, what are you going to do from a coaching perspective between tonight and tomorrow? Yeah, I think everyone just needs some rest. And, you know, we still haven't played our best volleyball. I mean, that NCAA tournament doesn't really matter. It just matters about the end result, right? And so I know that we can be much cleaner, and our team knows that, and I think that we'll be ready for tomorrow. Uh, we heard after the match, uh, the team yelling and celebrating. I uh, heard it was a milestone for you. Uh, yeah. Win number 100, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Uh, how, what's the feeling of knowing that you've reached that plateau, um, a huge milestone, and then also doing it in the NCAA tournament as well? I Honestly, that, those things like don't really matter that much to me. You know, I, I get more excitement and joy out of like coaching young women and watching them grow and develop. Like that's that's why I do this. The winning is a byproduct. Like yes, I love to win, um, but it's more about like teaching and role modeling and learning through the court. And so I couldn't have done this without the young women that have surrounded me for the past six years and they've bought into what I've been telling them and and our culture and our mission. And I'm just really proud of everyone that's been a part of this program.